So you're listening to George Fitzgerald on the BBC Radio on Residency and I'm joined in the studio at the moment by Alan Fitzpatrick. Hey Alan. Hey man, how you doing? You alright? Yeah, yeah, kids, kids. Thanks for coming out. It's uh, it's pretty hot outside. It is indeed. Yeah, yeah. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, but it's not too far for you, is it? You're from you're from South London, right? Um, I'm from Southampton, actually. Yeah, but it's, oh, right, it's okay. still not far. And is your studio down in Southampton as it well? It is. Yeah, yeah. I've got a, an outbuilding at the bottom of the garden that I go and escape into. So. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, every man needs a shed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So for. You know, most of the listeners, a lot of the listeners will know who you are. The people who don't will, you know, Mr. Fitzpatrick, I suppose you're known originally for your kind of history with drum codes and kind of latterly like a slew of massive remixes and original productions in the last couple of years, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. It's, um, it's been a busy few years and uh, it's been exciting. So. Yeah, I mean, how long, how long, I mean, I wouldn't describe, I wouldn't insult you and call you a veteran yet, but you've, you've been around for a while, haven't you? So. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been writing music for a long time now, a, a good yeah. 10 years or so at least. So. Definitely a lot longer than me. <laughs> um, yeah, which is pretty impressive in itself, um, to be kind of at the top of your game for this long, so, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, and we actually, we're now kind of almost label mates, aren't we, we are, I suppose? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, which I is done, cool. Yeah, which is definitely cool. Which is definitely cool. I haven't done. I'm talking about Hot Flush Recordings, which is uh, Scuba's label. Um, and you brought a release out recently, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was excited to do that release. I mean, I've been a fan of the label for a long time. So, yeah. Um, when I did that series of tracks, it sort of. I naturally thought that was a good home, so I sent them to Paul. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, I could. Yeah. I mean, the style style fits perfectly, doesn't it? It's just kind of. You know, when when Paul told me about it, I just thought it was completely logical. Yeah, and um, it's definitely a massive release. But I, I mean, I suppose recently you've been doing you've been doing a lot of remix work. Yes, I you? have. Yeah, I've just it, it's been a funny one because the, the success of the Trust Me remix definitely yep. brought a lot of people knocking on the door. Which um, was, um, I suppose, people a lot of people know about it was basically one of the biggest tracks last summer. Yeah, in Ibiza and anywhere. Yeah, um, I, I I pretty much didn't go to a club. Um, all of last summer without hearing that. Yeah, it was Pretty. crazy because for me it was a slow burner as well. Yeah. I wasn't necessarily playing it loads when I'd done it, and then I think that always happens. Someone else picks up on it, and then you, you know, it just sort of blows up. But yeah, off of the back of that, there was a lot of remix requests, and fortunately, all of the the, the stuff that I was offered was was really good stuff. Yeah. Know? So I I, I I couldn't turn a lot of it down. Yeah, it was really really good stuff. Yeah. So. I don't know how you do it though. To be honest, I mean, maybe, maybe there's something magic going on in that shed, but like. <laughs> I, uh, I, I struggle sometimes to, to find enough time to do all the remixes and uh, it's probably because I'm lazy but um, <laughs> it's pretty impressive you know one that you do that uh, you're doing so many remixes but two that they're all good yeah you know because so many people I mean let's be honest so many people churn out bad remixes yeah exactly yeah. Uh, you know because you don't have the time so yeah. um, that, that is pretty amazing what was the most remix, recent remix that you've done? Um, the most recent one I've finished was, or is, for Hypercolor. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, I just remixed um, a track by Bearskin and Jay Wilshire. Um, oh, wow, yeah. And um, recently, before that, was uh, a remix for RG, which is coming on B Pitch Control. Cool. Um, yeah, they're really good tracks as well. I'm excited for people to hear them. So. Nice. Well, let's, let, let's hear one. Um, you've got... You've got one that you brought with you, which is a left field remix, right? Yes, yeah. The left field remix is also, uh, it was a super huge honour to be able to do that. You know, I've been yeah. a fan of left field for a very long time. Um, and um, yeah, when they asked me to remix their latest single, I obviously jumped at the chance. So it's a bit different from what people might expect from me, but yeah. I, I wanted to be brave with the mix, you know. So oh, this is a special one, isn't it? I mean, I, you know, I'm a little bit jealous that you've got to do, <laughs> do left field because they're definitely somebody. You know that I I grew up. You know one of the reasons I got into dance music as well. Yeah, and um, yeah, why not? You know, go for something extra special. Yeah, yeah. So, and yeah. I'm very happy of how it turned out. I'm, I haven't actually got to play it in the club in, uh, yeah. uh, in any form of live environment yet. So I'm looking forward to, to dropping that. So. Cool. Well, let's hear that now. This is. Um, do you want to introduce it? Sure. Yeah. This is uh, my remix for Leftfield, uh, of their latest single. The track's called By Location. The Alan Fitzpatrick remix. Down the grace of government, lounging around. 
That was the Alan Fitzpatrick remix of By Location by Left Field, and I'm joined by Alan in the studio at the moment. Yeah, so you went for a kind of breakbeat approach on that almost, didn't you? I mean, I, yeah. can, I can hear the... Um, yeah, it's, I, I mean, do you, do you have a background in, in sort of old school rave and stuff like that? Or Yeah, that's sort of my um, sort of basis of what got me into dance music and stuff, really. But um, especially when approaching that remix, like, you know, sometimes you get parts and you you kind of have an idea of where you want to take it but that vocal was really strong and I thought doing a kind of 4-4 thing and using all that vocal wouldn't have sounded too great so I went for 
that more of a breakbeat of hope approach. And cool. Yeah, it, it really comes off. Me. Yeah, it's really nice to you know that people people are kind of. I suppose in our scene, house and techno, people can be a little bit too attached to the four four beat sometimes, yeah. and they're not brave enough to to kind of go go off off reservation. But um, yeah. that definitely comes off. So congratulations. <laughs> so the um, the two labels you've mainly been associated with have been like Drum Code and Hot Flush. Yeah. Um, how have you found it dealing with Paul? <laughs> you go on, dish the dirt on <laughs> No, it's been fun. It's been fun. You know, it's he it pulls a, a man of few words, which I quite like, you know. And I, I like that he, he will speak his mind if he doesn't like something. Yeah, he's cool to deal with. He's good fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely a man of few words. So it's Paul, Paul, by the way, for listeners, is scuba. A um, little bit too familiar in the studio at the moment. Yeah, but we should play something off the last release, to be honest, because I thought that was absolutely amazing. That's um, that's uh, the last release you did for Hot Flush. So if I could pick something now, um, let's maybe listen to the A1, which was Falling Down. Sure. Wasn't it? Yeah, so this is Falling Down by Adam Fitzpatrick. Fitzgerald on BBC Radio 1. I'm joined by Alan Fitzpatrick and we were just listening to Falling Down which was on Hot Flush recordings. Um, you know, just listening to that 
you know, I, I often, I've wanted to ask you, in that shed of yours, do you have some sort of massive rack of hardware or are you more a kind of, you know, this is, I get to ask nerd questions on the show sometimes. Yeah, sure. Well, this particular track I did down in Portsmouth with Dave Robertson, who's okay. Reset Robot. Yeah. We've got a very similar setup. We've both basically got sheds with I studios would, yeah. in, but we both use the, the same stuff. We just, everything's done on Reason. Yeah? Yeah, so. Wow, um, okay. <laughs> Well, that shows you, you know, I I spent a not inconsiderable amount of money on loads of synths, and I couldn't notice the difference. I, mean, I, so. I have got I have got hardware stuff that I've spent <laughs> like a lot of money on, which just gets dusty. Yeah. Some of it's at my studio, some of it's at Dave's, and because we sort of share a lot of stuff where we're quite close uh, proximity to each other. But yeah, I've never used any of it. Yeah, <laughs> it just, just goes to show that it's all. It, I mean, it's a cheesy thing to say, but I suppose it's all about the ideas, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. Rather than. How, you know how you're getting inspiration and i suppose a lot of people find as you maybe said hardware kind of gets in the way having loads of machines and everything but some people vibe off that certainly when i write a lot on the road at least sort of on flights doing loops and stuff yeah it just makes it a lot more easier if when i transfer that into the studio it's all there rather than me having to sort of repatch stuff about and cool we should listen actually it just occurred to me we had Rasheen Murphy on the last um, on the last show, and uh, should listen to your remix of Rasheen Murphy. Probably, I mean, did you did you chat to Rasheen when this came about, or you know, sometimes you don't have contact with artists, do you? When you get given the remix, you just do it. But yeah, we did speak a bit. Um, basically, again, Rasheen was a fan of the Trust Me remix, and yeah. that's how it came about. And um, yeah, she'd asked me to do that um, the first single, so I was really happy with that the, the way that came out as well. It was a really cool remix to do because you've got so many different parts of this kind of disco, jazzy, kind of yeah. crazy original. So you can take a lot of elements into that sort of 4 4 environment. And her voice is amazing. So it was really good to work with that. Yeah. But, so um, when I get remixes by someone and who's a really good singer, and Machine is a really, really good singer, it just makes your life a lot easier, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You don't have to sort of hide how bad they are. Yeah, there's no uh, auto tune or there's no sort <laughs> yeah, of uh, exactly. sitting it behind something else. It's really, really prominent. So, cool. So, so let's listen to that. Um, this is um, Alan Fitzpatrick's remix of Exploitation by Rasheed Murphy.
just don't know who I don't see it as a music Who's exploiting who The price isn't right I just don't know who Rasheen Murphy exploitation Alan Fitzpatrick's remix we still we're still keeping Alan Fitzpatrick in the in the studio with us you know so, so what's coming up I you know I've been asking you about like stuff in the past and everything um you know you said you've got a couple of remixes coming up with yeah. Hypercolor and RG but yeah you know what's what's next gigs wise so we're actually playing in Sonar together aren't we we are next yeah week. yeah, That's yeah. Gonna be looking cool. forward to that it should be a good one is there anything you know? I, I read somewhere that you were thinking about doing a live set. Or yeah, there is. I've been toying with the idea of it. I mean, I've been sort of playing around with with bits and bobs on Ableton. It's quite a daunting thing for me because I'm yeah. just only a, sort of a DJ through and through. So the whole concept is is new, but it's kind of exciting. If I have a kind of jam session, it's it's cool. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, the, the plan is to maybe do some special shows. Yeah. But um, it's still very much in its infancy at the moment. Yeah, yeah I've got a similar situation with my album. I, but putting together, you realise that like playing live is quite scary. Yeah, <laughs> you get very used to DJing, and then yeah. and then live suddenly seems like this very exciting yet completely terrifying <laughs> yeah. thing that people do. Yeah. So yeah, well, you know, going back to you as a DJ, I mean, what what kind of what stuff out there at the moment is really exciting you? The, uh, there's a lot of stuff I've been playing, but one of my favourite tracks at the moment is um, a new thing on Ben Clock's label by Trevino. My favourite on the EP is a track called After the Rain. Cool, so let's listen to that. But um, yeah, before we play that, uh, thanks Adam for coming in. My pleasure. And uh, yeah, I look forward to the gigs we're doing and uh, good luck with everything this summer. Cool, thanks very much, man. You too. Have Cheers. A good summer. 